Start with a new blank file. Open Final Design. We want to make a copy from design to use it in our mockup. Go to Object, unlock all layers needed. Now select all, Ctrl plus C to copy, go back to blank file, Ctrl plus V to paste. Move design out of page. We need to separate front, back and side. To do that with right mouse button, click and drag, release mouse button, copy here. Ctrl plus G to group. Select the other copy, Ctrl plus G to group. Now, while the group selected, select crop tool, snap to corner node, click and drag until snap to bottom corner node. Double click to apply. Select pick tool and group all. Zoom in. As you can see, the crop tool crop crease lines and we need to remove them. So with pick tool, drag marquee all over the edges and hit delete. Do the same for all three edges. Now select and Ctrl plus G to group again. Move aside, make another copy of the design. Crop back face of the design. Ungroup all. With pick tool, select and delete crease lines. Select all, Ctrl plus G to group. Now we still need side panel. Zoom in. Select crop tool. Snap to node. Click and drag until snap with opposite node. Double click to crop. Select pick tool and group all. Delete crease lines. Now all faces needed for mockup is ready. Select front and side faces. Right click and drag to page. Copy here. Move front face to center of page, move side face to the left. Hold side from corner node and snap to front face. If you zoom in, you can see we have a different heights of our faces. We need to edit front face height, so ungroup, select shape tool, select bottom nodes, drag up until snap. With pick tool, draw a marquee all over front face, Ctrl plus G and group again. Now we need to add perspective effect to our mockup. Select front face, go to object, perspective, add perspective. Hold right bottom node, drag up, hold right top node, drag down. Now reduce width. Select side face, go to object, perspective, add perspective, drag top node down, drag bottom node up. Reduce width. Select all, move to right. Now we need to add shadow. Select Bezier tool and draw shadow area. Select Shape tool and Edit area to look like real shadow. Now fill with black color. Click Shift plus Page down to send to back of layer, which means behind all objects. Now go to Effects, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Increase Radius and see how it affects the shape. Then change it to 55 pixels. Press OK. Now select transparency and reduce it to 
Go back to Gaussian Blur and reduce it to 35 pixels. Now zoom in to bottom. You can see that the design look like it floating in air. So we need to add bottom shadow to look like standing on floor. To do that we need to add a thin shadow beneath the box. Select Bezier tool and draw a line between the two bottom nodes. Change thickness to one point. Now go to effect. Blur. Motion blur. Change angle to look like perpendicular to the line and increase distance. Now do the same to front face. Select Bezier tool and draw a line all over the bottom edge. Change thickness to one point. Go to effect, blur, motion blur. Change angle. Press OK. Select both lines. Ctrl plus G to group. Select transparency and reduce to 50%. Ungroup, select shape tool and drag node to remove extended shadow. Now we want to add bending to top. Zoom in. Select Bezier tool, draw line between nodes and close it. Select Shape tool, convert to curve, hold and drag up. Left click on black to fill. Right click to remove stroke color. Now we will add shadow and highlight to this edge. Select Bezier tool. Draw line from top to bottom. Change thickness to 0 0.75 point. Zoom in. With right mouse button, click and drag to left. Release. Copy here. Change color to white. With shape tool, snap not to edge. Reduce thickness to 0 0.5. Select both, go to transparency and reduce to 60%. Go to Outline Pin and Change Corner to Rounded. With Shape Tool, Fit Lines to Edge. Select both. Change transparency to 40%. Now we will add impose to inner frame. With Pazier tool, draw black line on top and right inner edges. 
change thickness to one point, change transparency to 50%. Draw line on left and bottom outer edge, change thickness to one point, change color to white, add transparency with 50%. Now we want to add shadow to side, select Bezier tool and draw by snapping to all nodes all around the side, select pick tool and fill with black, now select transparency but this time click outside and drag to make gradient transparency. Move this line to be perpendicular to box height. Do the same for front face. With Bezier tool, draw all around face nodes. Fill with white. Remove line color. With shape tool, fix corner. Now with transparency tool, click and drag to make highlight to top right edge. Now select, press plus to duplicate. Fill with black, use transparency tool to add shade to left side. Zoom out and check if the mockup need edit. Now we want to add background, select rectangle tool and draw a rectangle at half bottom. Select mockup, ctrl plus G to group, select rectangle, shift plus page down to send back, double click fill color, select gradient. Change angle to minus 90 degree. Now change color to whatever you want. Remove outline color, press plus to duplicate, now scale from bottom to top, so the gradient will mirror. Select both, ctrl plus G to group. Now reduce transparency. Now I will fix highlight and do some retouches. Now our design is ready.